What's up guys, Bar First Center here with Android Police, actually. Hi, how are you? I realize I might be a new face for you, that's totally okay. We're gonna get to know each other in good time, but for now, the Android N developer preview is out and Google kind of surprised us a little bit. They haven't normally done this before. We had no idea about it, there were no leaks, there was no information leading up to it. Golly, it really just threw me for a loop. We flashed Android N on this beautiful golden Nexus 6P and uh, I've been tinkering around with it and here's a couple of the things that I would love to show you guys about Android N. For those of you who aren't going to flash it or for those of you who are, I can't stop you. Don't do it if it's your only device, but if you're going to do it, do it safely. In Android N, probably the biggest, most anticipated feature that we're looking at is multitasking windows. And by that, I mean not just the ability to switch from app to app, I mean something more along the lines of what you can find in the iPad Pro in terms of having split screen views and usage. Pop open an app, hit the multitasking window button, and then grab that window that you wanna have snapped and stick it onto one of the sides. You'll be left with the second half and you can use that second half to pick one of the other apps that you're gonna need to multitask with. Works in portrait, works in landscape. Not all developers obviously have incorporated this part just yet. Third party developers are gonna need to do something on their end to make sure everything works properly, but you can definitely play around with it in all of the Google apps. It seems to work pretty darn well. Not to mention there is a secret little feature having to do with multitasking that I'm gonna tell you about towards the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. We've also got a brand new notification pane with new looking notifications, new behaviors for settings on the notifications, and of course, a beautiful new quick settings menu. The first thing you're gonna notice about that new quick settings menu is that the first five toggles in it are going to appear in the notification pane without even having to pull down the notification pane for a second time. When you do swipe down that second time, you have a ton of control over which options are where, which toggles are where. You can hit edit, tap and hold, and then rearrange the, the toggles in whatever way your heart desires. Next up, we've got a brand new settings menu. And for those of you who have seen my videos before, you know that I am huge on information density. I wanna see as much of it as possible on screen at any given moment. And now the settings menu does that for me. Where there was just empty space underneath each of the headings for each of the sections, they've now used that space to let you know the most important little tidbit about what that section is gonna to reveal to you. So if you're looking at your display area, it's gonna tell you that adaptive brightness is indeed turned on or off. If you're looking at your battery, you can see how much percentage is left and about how many hours you can expect to get out of it. It's a really, really welcome change and it's something that I think that the settings in Android have needed for quite some time. Another brand new setting that you're gonna find both in the quick toggle menu and inside of the settings is the data saver. And the data saver isn't gonna do necessarily what you think it's gonna do if you're used to using the data saver on Chrome. It's not gonna compress anything and then send it back down to your device. All data savers really gonna do is make sure that background data is only taking place while you're connected to a Wi-Fi network so that any background data that might occur while you're out and about is kept off of your cellular network and that'll just happen once you get home or to work or wherever there's a trusted Wi-Fi network. All right, we're almost to that quick little fun tidbit that I've got for you guys, so still stick around. But for right now, we're gonna dive into the system UI tuner. If you've never turned that on, pull the notification pane down, hold on that gear up at the top until it spins and you should get a little vibrate there and then it should dump you right into the system UI tuner. There are new things in the system UI tuner, but it's more like everything old is new again because night mode is back from Marshmallow and now we even have a ton more options of how to enable it. We can control things like the, the brightness, the tint, and you can also do things like adjust when it actually goes on. You can have night mode turn on automatically based on your time zone and when you're using the device so that later in the evening, your settings menu isn't bright white while you're using your phone in bed. Here's that little tidbit for you. While we're here in the system UI tuner, tap on other and turn on enable split screen swipe up gesture. David actually alerted me to this and this is probably one of the coolest implementations that I've seen for something like this. Open something up and then when you go to multitask, instead of just hitting the multitasking button and then picking the window that you want, if you're already in the app that you know that you wanna use, just swipe up on that multitasking button and you'll get that divider there ready for you to use. It's really nice, really nifty, and really, really convenient. I like it a lot. 
that's a quick look at Android N. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, you can hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, which I promise you there will be many more of, you can hit that subscribe button as well. Let me know in the comments what you think about Android N, what features you're most excited for, and if you got ballsy enough to flash it on your device at some point today, please do let me know what your experience has been like. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Be kind to one another, and I will catch you in the next video.